After three very wet years for the Asia Pacific, last week the World Meteorological Organization called it, and El Nino is underway. In Australia, El Nino is typically associated with warmer than average and drier than average weather conditions. Authorities are gearing up for possible impacts right around the region, whether it's smoky haze in Southeast Asia, fires and drought in Australia, or a shortage of critical monsoonal rains in India. Combined with more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere than ever before, this El Nino could help break global temperature records. And climate change is also affecting how we forecast El Nino. So climate change is impacting the baseline. So when we define an El Nino, we're looking at temperature anomalies. So because the ocean is hotter generally, we actually need more heat than we previously did. And so there's a lot of debate going on about whether we need to redefine our El Nino definitions to take into account climate change. Explore videos, graphics and stories from the experts as part of 360 Info's special report on the return of El Nino.